I kind of almost got into rowing by accident. My high school had a team, had some friends who were going to do it. I rowed for three and a half years, and then in March of 2009 is when I got sick. I thought that was it for my rowing career. I was a high school senior. Rowing season was just starting up again for the spring, just getting back into practice. I was playing in a rec league basketball game, and after the game was over, I had a sore calf, just like we've all had. Felt like I was just, you know, muscle was sore. My last memory for about six weeks was um, being in the ICU and the orthopedic surgeon coming in and saying, all right, we're gonna go in and look at your leg and find out what's wrong. When they took me to surgery, what they found was that I had necrotizing fasciitis, or the flesh eating disease. I started with basically just a string of hallucinations of not understanding where I was, what was going on. My dad was sitting on the edge of the bed and I had a moment of clarity and I said, you know, Dad, I can't feel my legs. And he said, well, you know, bud, you, you, don't, you don't have legs. I'd lost absolutely all my muscle mass. In February, I could bench press 240 pounds. And in June, after a month and a half of physical therapy, I could bench press one pound in each hand. You know, I know how to be, you know, 18 years old and an athlete and walk in the room and be that guy. I don't know, I don't know how to do this. There's a line by C.S. Lewis. He says, you do not have a soul. You are a soul. You have a body. When the essential worth of the person is intrinsic. It's not linked to how many limbs I've got or how fast I can row a boat. Having that perspective has allowed me to look at the positive. So as I started school at Ohio State, that was the big transition period. You know, I'm not sick Blake anymore. I'm Blake. And what does that mean? And how am I gonna go set some goals and go get them? And I thought, okay, I've, I've gotta find a way to work out. I already had the rowing machine at home. I didn't have the seat yet, so I bought the seat and then started that process of learning how to row with your arms and your shoulders. And that's when a lot of the progress really started getting made. You know, getting on the rowing machine and, and never thinking of the times I used to pull and never thinking of what the old stroke used to feel like. And now it's okay, how do I maximize this? Pretty soon found out my times were competitive for the national team. Went to the Indoor World Championships uh, in Boston that year, a little bit on a whim and won. The, uh, the U.S. team said, I want you to try out to row in a boat. The offer to maybe represent the United States was one I just couldn't say no to. I've never really liked competing alone, but I don't really. I could not compete in my event without direct help from a pretty big group. So I do have a team. Uh, maybe they're not in the boat, but they're all pulling for me, and that's pretty special to be a part of Team USA and to represent the United States. You know, it's a dream come true. Um, to be honest, I don't even know if it's really settled in yet. <laughs>